Now at six, a warning. A local church raising concerns about someone allegedly trying to defraud church members. West Dallas pastor says it happened a couple of times at several local churches. Ben Jordan shares how the accused person is getting away with the cash. The pastor here at Apostle Presbyterian says not only has she been swindled by this infrequent visitor, several members of her congregation claim they have been as well, and it doesn't stop at this church. Apostle Presbyterian Sanctuary is open to anyone who wants to worship. However, there is one visitor, Pastor Kathy Manthai, believes comes for the wrong reasons. She is welcome, her behavior is not. Manthai says a woman captured in this photo, her face blurred because she hasn't been criminally charged, comes about twice a year. You don't know her name. I don't know her name. She signed a, um, in here on September the 9th, only first name Suzette. However, I've learned that she used Deborah at a different church. While her name may be a mystery, Manthai is onto her motive. Took a man for probably what I think is about $120. Manthai says each time she visits, a different elderly member falls victim. Last week, she told a couple that um, I had told her, and she pretended to dial me on the phone, that I had told her that they should give her money. The woman claims they will be repaid without following through. Those people did not have that to give. Terry Sweek fell for it this summer at his church in Greenfield. I think she knew exactly how to get people to feel comfortable and then approach them for money. The problem is with just this piece of evidence and a name that may be made up, police could have a hard time tracking her down. The pastor has called police but doesn't want this swindler to be criminally charged rather to get her help in a way that doesn't hurt others. In West Dallas, Ben Jordan, today's TMJ4.